Hello and welcome to our top 10 list for this week. This week, we've got me and we've got Francesca. We're mixing it up with us too. How's it going, Francesca? Oh, hi. I'm just Hello. putting the finishing touches on my list. I know, I know. No, mine has been baking for hours. No, it's literally like, oh, it's really hard sometimes to choose. But anyway, what are we talking about? Well, we like to occasionally have these be timely, and everyone's talking about what sort of person should be hosting SNL? What does it mean to host SNL? How do they choose their hosts? Well, I'm a little bit worried now um, that the reaction to Elon Musk will lead to them making more like, hey, let's just be controversial picks. Um, and especially, I don't want them to give Jeff, Jeff Bezos a position. So we decided we're gonna offer up 10 people who should host SNL rather than just another awful billionaire. Mm -hmm. And I know that you might not have your set number five, but who would that be if you did? <laughs> Way to push it. First of all, uh, we talked in at length uh, on my podcast about how terrible Elon was. And, and I think the critics are agree. He sucked. Well, I don't know. I didn't watch. He looked I, awkward in the few minutes I saw, but okay, I didn't watch. Okay, I watched the full monologue, which is very difficult for me as a stand-up comic because I know so many stand-ups who would crush a monologue, write it themselves, know all the timing, and even a lot of actors are really bad at doing opening monologues, and so that always feels awkward to me. But then you've mm -hmm. got to think about like how they're going to do in the sketches and whether they've got a sense of humor. And Elon was just in the stuff that I saw. Sort of perfectly, it was like watching a third grader try to do comedy and they think they're really funny and they're like in their head about it. And you're like, oh, yeah, yeah. You're like, you're like a parent with the iPad, like, oh, you are funny. And they're just kind of like doing too much, but they're not actually doing anything well. That was the vibe that Elon gave me the entire time. Um, and I know, God, it's already started. The Elon. The Elon stands, the Elon reply guys, you guys, once again, oh God. he's never gonna sleep with you. You're never gonna be a billionaire. <laughs> You're never gonna get a cyber tank truck or whatever the hell it's called. Give it up. He's not mm -hmm. gonna retweet you. He's not gonna fave your tweet. He doesn't, you're not gonna party with him in Grimes. Stop Ugh, the Elon worship, just suck. stop it. It's so dumb. It's the lamest, the yeah. lamest thing you could possibly do is be an Elon Stan. Anywho, my number five. I'm <laughs> um, I really want to see Olivia <laughs> Coleman, the actress uh, from The Queen, or no, the Queen, the Crown. Uh, <laughs> who I Not bad. Who, who I love, and she is so funny. And British actors are just so much better when it comes to comedy. They take themselves so much less seriously. It's annoying. If you've ever seen the show, the ex or extras. Just watch like Kate Winslet be hilarious and like um, it was funny. just so good. And so yes, Olivia Coleman would crush it and is is also funny. She was in Peep Show, which is one of my favorite sitcoms, uh, British BBC sitcom, um, and she'd be great. So yeah. Olivia Coleman. She was very funny in The Favorite and uh yeah, no, she's good. She she would be good. She gave that great uh, speech when she won an award. Maybe for the favorite, it might have been for something else. But favorite, anyway, she's yeah. very funny. Uh, she would be very good at that. Uh, my number five is a little bit different. Mine is like if you want to do something that's going to draw in new people, something that's like oh, like you know, Elon Musk is always trying to like be funny on the internet. Well, here's someone who's actually like really big on the internet without even having to be there. It's just about him. Have Keanu Reeves, how have you not had Keanu Reeves? Oh Yeah, he's not only been around for forever, was a star back in the 90s and then has become this big star again. He's awesome, it would be a little bit different. It's not to say that he can't be funny. Some of his early movies he joked around and I think he seemed funny. Um, but he's just this really interesting figure. Everybody says he's a really nice guy, like I feel like that should be rewarded. Like Keanu Reeves seems like a good guy. He's like, definitely he turned them audience. down. He is. You think? Oh yeah, yeah. Keanu huh. has way better and things to do, like giving <laughs> up his seat to old ladies on a subway, which yeah. I think he actually did. And there's a video of it. And it's adorable. Um, I can see that. Yeah, you know, Keanu has been asked. He just has turned it down because he's too cool. And like I said, SNL not that cool. John disagrees, but well, but you're, you're right. Number four it, anymore. It would be great for ratings. It would be good, and that's the half the thing is like people. The hate watch also gets ratings. So Elon 
was a good move for them because the hate yeah. watching was like good. And so was Donald Trump. Mine are gonna be less like hate watchy, but. Um, Mine too, but what, what's your number four? Okay, my number four is Riz Ahmed who recently starred in The Sound of Metal. He's so good in this movie. It is was my favorite movie that I saw, which is not many of the year. <laughs> Riz Ahmed, he's also yeah. fine as hell, my god. Um, and was he the he was, actor that was in Rogue One? He was in Rogue One. He was in okay. um, he was in The Night Before, which was like a mini series, I think, on HBO. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's great, and he is so good in Sound of Metal. It's on Amazon, everybody should watch it. Or no, yes, on Amazon, and everybody should watch it. Mm-hmm. And I can't believe he hasn't been on. Yeah, um, oh, this is making me think of a lot of people. From Star Wars movies that should be in it, but anyway, um, I'm Diego gonna Luna. Up my, Hell yeah! I think Diego Luna would be great. I think Pedro Pascal would be great. Pedro Pascal, how Yoda has he not sketches. been on? I, I don't know because they have to make room for Elon Musk. But anyway, um, my number four is gonna be. I have a couple of people who are sort of like, hey, maybe grab these up and comers that are gonna be these massive stars. Um, and one is, I, I think she's great. She's very funny. I would say Florence Pugh. Yeah. Florence Pugh was in um, Little Women. I was going to say Little Girls. That's not right. <laughs> little Women. She's in Little Women. Um, she's about to be in Black Widow. Like, that would be a great tie in. I know that you love having Scarlett Johansson on, and she's great. She's very good as the host, but like, she doesn't need to do it seven times. You could have Florence well, she's Pugh. Not, she's not dating one of the cast members. That's true. Uh, well, she was on multiple she does. Times before that, but yeah. Well, we could set that up. She could, I don't know, like, hang out with one of them. But whatever. Anyway, she's she really Mid- good actress. Somar. She was in Midsummer, which I watched because she was in it. I did not like that movie, but but she's good anyway. I think up and coming actress. She's gonna be huge, very talented, funny. Hey, even British or whatever. So like I would say Florence Pugh. That's my number four. I think all of mine except for one are not American. <laughs> oh really? Um, I'm mostly American. But what's I your think number three? Riz Ahmed is from the UK. Okay, my number three yeah. um, is Jamila Jamil. Uh, she is she so, so close wonderful. On mine. <laughs> what? She was very close on my really? list too. Yeah. Oh. yeah. So Jamila Jamil, she's an actress. I haven't actually seen anything she's been in, but I just love her presence on like online in any interview she's done. She's obviously been a champion for like discussing like body positivity and like getting rid of fat shaming. And she like, she's so, well, she's gorgeous. And she's also like clearly has a sense oh, of I humor, she is, clearly yeah. doesn't take herself seriously. Um, I think could be a great actor, definitely could kill a monologue. I just, mm-hmm. I like her. There's nothing not to like about Jamila Jamil. Uh, I want to wear her skin as my own. Okay. Oh, jeez. Wait, <laughs> you said you haven't seen her anything. You haven't seen The Good Place? No. <laughs> you haven't seen The Good I, Place? I don't watch TV, John. You I do other to things. You watch The Good Place. She's so good in it. Was Grogu- She's one of the reasons it's a good place. <laughs> was anyway, Grogu you high on your list too? Was like, was Baby yeah. Yoda high? So fun, funnily enough, um, Baby Yoda was on SNL this weekend. Um, <laughs> yeah. That's one of the characters on Weekend Update. With uh, Kyle Mooney, okay. right? He's so With Kyle I Mooney. Love, yeah, I love that. He's funny. I like Kyle Mooney. I didn't like this sketch, but anyway, um, my number three is going to be, and maybe this is a cheat. I don't know. It's two people, and I'm fine with it being either one of these two people, but for the same reason, because um, one of my favorite shows. Of last year was Lovecraft Country. It mm-hmm. was amazing. And I want it to blow up and be like the next big Game of Thrones. But so far, I feel like not there's not as much talk about it. And Game yeah. of Thrones started slow too. So I'm hoping if you have either Journey Smollett or Jonathan Majors, that would be great. And I I have a feeling Jonathan Majors at least will definitely host at some point. Maybe Journey Smollett too. They're both amazing. Journey Smollett was so good in Lovecraft Country. Jonathan Majors is great too. And he's about to be this big villain in one of the MCU movies. So he's about to blow up. They oh, they yeah. should definitely grab him while they can. So I'm fine with either of them to put more of a spotlight on how awesome Lovecraft Country is. Okay, okay. Yeah. I can get down with that. And they both um, be great. Like I like I said, I don't know anything about that show or lots of TV. It's but really I do 
<laughs> I do watch Shit's Creek because yeah. it is just pure joy and hilarity and you can't not love it. And they did have Daniel Levy on hosting, which I think is he great. Did. He was good, he was good. He's a, yeah, but Catherine O'Hara. Oh yeah. What are you doing with your life, <laughs> SNL? If you don't have Catherine O'Effing Hara hosting, crushing every single scene. I mean, this is a woman who steals every single scene she's in. She's hilarious. She, oh, she's just so good. She is a, she's American. Yes. And she is a national goddamn treasure. She's been stealing scenes for 40 years. <laughs> They should definitely have her on. That so would be good. And just obviously, do, there'll be some Home Alone sketches. She can do her Kevin, mm -hmm. you know, it'll be so good. <laughs> they could do the the, the Beetlejuice dance number yes. around the table. Yeah, yes. I will say I've only watched a little bit of Shit's Creek. I did like oh. what I saw, but but yeah, she would she would be very good. Oh my God, I'm thinking of so many people that I want to host a show. <laughs> anyway, she would be good. Um, okay, my number two is again, this is on up and coming. People are going to be huge. Okay. Maybe this person is already kind of at that level. I don't know, but um, about to be in the next James Bond movie. So again, great little tie-in for later on this year. But also, this is an actress. She's not only a great actress, but I know that she's funny because in Knives Out she was hilarious. Anna De Armas should definitely host SNL. I think that she would be great. She's in this like big pop culture stuff. Like she's just starting to blow up, so you could probably still get her. Um, uh, and, and very nah. funny in Knives Out. I disagree. I don't think she was funny in Knives Out. I think what? you like her because she's hot, and she she's broke so hot. But she was funny. She broke Ben Affleck's heart, and they're they got they they're getting separated. They're separated. They broke up. Yes. Yeah, so now he's going too, back apparently. to J Lo. She's definitely smart for leaving leaving Ben Affleck, <laughs> but. That's such a weird thing. I think she do. definitely should host, but I'm like, yeah. I'm not sure if she was that funny in Knives Out. Knives Out I was so meh nah for me. Well, I love Knives Out was my that and um the the satire about Hitler. Those are my two favorite movies. Jojo Rabbit. Jojo Rabbit. Those were and I think Knives Out over Jojo Rabbit. It was so good. I can't I can't just, I can't thank you right now. Anyway, okay, so we have a disagreement about one. Well, what's your number one? We'll see if I accept that. I just want to point out that I have chosen now uh, basically almost all women except for Riz Ahmed, a uh, couple of people of color, but specifically women over the age of 50, mm -hmm. I believe. Yeah. Catherine O'Hara, Olivia Coleman, which, women who are crushing it in their game. But who SNL does not consider for like oh, hosting yeah. their show. They want someone who's like young and hip. And it's like, yeah, pair them with, you know, Megan the Stallion or, you know, Miley Cyrus or Dua Lipa or whoever. But like these people would be <laughs> so funny. These people would make me watch. They'd make us now, think that on. SNL was funny again. You are totally right that they generally don't have on older, older actors, women. and especially older actresses. But just narrowly squeaking by Regina King earlier this year is 50. So that's okay. the, the one person in the last couple of years, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So maybe they could, maybe Olivia Coleman's a possibility. But my number one fits very much in this ethos and fits much in just someone who I think is so funny, so good. And who also has been dabbling in politics, of course, at a run at the governorship in New York. Cynthia Nixon should absolutely hmm. Host SNL. She's so funny. I just rewatched Sex in the City because Cynthia Nixon is the best part of that show. She's great. She's got the no. best comedic timing. She's got the best lines. She's so wonderful. I love her. I think she cares. I wish that Cuomo were not the governor and it was Cynthia Nixon, but I totally want to see her crush it on SNL. Mm. It won't happen because she's not it like an A lister. Won't happen. But I want her to. Um, Partially that and partially, I don't know, the, the, the politics of SNL is, I don't yeah. think they that that would fly. Um, and not not necessarily the cast members necessarily, but like I don't think Lauren Michaels is gonna have Cynthia Nixon on. Um, but that's a good, that's Very a good conser He's conservative. Yeah, well, yeah. Now, my number one 
is not a different New York based politician, although I did think about that, but no. It is an actress who is incredibly funny and has been being incredibly funny in project after project after project for years and years and years. Including one of my favorite comedic movies of all time, multiple series. And rounding out, though not intentionally from Francesca's point of view, the inclusion of the cast of The Good Place. How has Kristen Bell not hosted SNL? <laughs> it even rhymes. She is so funny. Forgetting She's Sarah funny. Marshall, like The Good Place. She was funny for years in that show. I'm so surprised. good. I feel like you might be not right on this. How is no, she not hosted? No, she has not hosted it. She was on Heroes. She was on um, Veronica Mars. She's no, yeah, so she's much stuff. been crushing it. She's so just amazingly funny. I I love forgetting Sarah Marshall. I could watch that movie like a thousand times or whatever. <laughs> I just I don't understand it. Like Jason Siegel's I think has hosted it. Mila Kunis has definitely hosted it, but no. not Kristen Bell. She that show, The Good Place, got so many awards, yeah. and yet no, no. Yeah, I don't know if Mila Kunis is hosted. I, I really, as of a few years ago, I thought she hadn't, but maybe. Anywho, it's fine. Um, a, obviously, B, I don't know. She apparently didn't want to do it for like a decade. Maybe she was afraid. Okay, I, I get that. But anyway, yeah, yeah, uh, I think she would be amazing. It would be well deserved, and get her into the MCU. She needs to be in some big, high-profile movie thing. Anyway, any other honorable mentions you wanted to mention? I think Rose McGowan would be hilarious hosting SNL because I would like her to light it on fire <laughs> and make fun of everyone and just yeah. sort of like go out in a like a scream, you know. <laughs> and uh, I don't think that's uh, going to happen, but maybe, maybe that won't happen either. The, see, I don't, I don't like popular people because I'm like alt You're or whatever. Cooler. Yeah, I'm cool. You're a comedic hipster. <laughs> um, I would say I would love to see someone from Always Sunny in Philadelphia oh, be yes. brought up. Um, and it could be Sweet D, she's hilarious. It so could funny. be Rob McElhaney, who now is also starring in uh, Mythic Quest, which is a hilarious show. Um, that Always Sunny is so good and has been on for so long. And it, I hate how. It gets no recognition. It just makes me so angry. It has so many good people. Charlie Day could do it. Like, take anybody from the cast. Honestly, have Danny DeVito. I don't care. You could have anybody in. It would be great. And nobody gives that show the cred that it deserves. It's almost but. like SNL is not like you know the the pinnacle of comedy or comedic <laughs> sensibility. It may not be, but getting selected to be a host is like it is a certain sort of acknowledgement of relevance. In of mainstreamness too, you know, of like sure. I'm talking about mainstream people. Exactly. You know. Of shows yeah. and people you should check out and like watch more sure. of. I get it. Yeah. But no, well, Elon, John, Elon. Elon, gotta give him the recognition. Anyway, um, well, that was fun, Francesca. Uh, our list had no overlap whatsoever. Maybe <laughs> I shouldn't be surprised by that. Um, but anyway, uh also like bring back like Bobby Moynihan. Or like, why is it there's like three people from the past cast that can host, but not like Bobby Moynihan or Nassim Padrad would be awesome to bring back. Jason Sudeikis, didn't everybody love Ted Lasso? Like, but no, there's like three people that could, anyway, I'm just Yeah, isn't he like giving like real divorce dad vibes right now? I hear he's pretty funny. He had like a whole, I think his acceptance speech for like the the Golden Globes, got Grammys, Golden Globes. Yeah. Was very like, whoa, bro, thanks. Whew. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> Don um, Cheadle was like, wrap it up, bro. Anyway, I would have said Olivia Wilde, but she's in trouble now. Um, so may, we'll see if maybe that elevates her. I don't know if you saw that on Twitter, but anyway. Um, well, that's ours. What do you think? Who would you like to see? You know, get out in front instead of I don't know having Don Jr. on or something like that. Uh, you can let us know down below in the comments. And if you'd like to suggest a top ten list for future weeks, we would love to see what ideas you have. Um, thank you for being a member and making this sort of special content available. And for Cheska, thank you as always for taking part. Thank you, John. Always a blast. Thank you. We'll see you next time, guys.